crying is very detrimental to babies. We know that every time a baby cries, we're encouraging the foramen ovale, one of the valves that was open in the baby's heart while he was a fetus in his mother's womb. That valve has to close, but crying encourages that valve to stay open because as a baby cries, he stops the blood flow into the right side of his heart. And as he pauses for a breath, that blood comes in in a very large amount and creates a lot of pressure on the right side of the heart, which makes this valve open. And when that valve opens, it sends the blood that has not gotten oxygen out through the baby's entire body. This valve has got to stay closed so that blood will go to the lung and pick up oxygen and then go to all the tissues in the body. But every time we let a baby cry for more than a minute, we may be stopping the actual closure or reversing whatever closure has occurred. And this is called patent foramenal valley. Babies who are colicky babies are very much at risk of having this foramenal valley remain open and then it starts to form little blood clots in it that increase in size over the years and can cause a major heart attack.